the school council and I went down and visited various... We were given a choice. We were told we could choose what plan of school we would prefer. We were given a choice of three. So we went down to Melbourne and we looked at these three places in action. Uh, quite a few of the council were keen on the design that um, Maroopna's got. I'd never liked it because it always looked dull and drab to me. And we chose this plan because we said to ourselves, now we can never grow out of that. It's got a nice little square and if it, you'll never be able to take more children than will fit in this rectangle. <laughs> it was entirely different design to um, anything we'd seen or um, sort of having schools in those days. Oh, it just seemed so uh, light and airy. We, had, we found North Adam Faults with it. They built the little place inside for the teachers in the home economics area with not, neither a window nor a door. And I remember meetings over what sort of rocks we were going to have on the inside. We wanted a piece of granite and a piece of basalt. We wanted this tree and that tree. And they put in the benches with nowhere for the drainage water to go. They had sinks, but nothing to stop the drainage water running on the floor. So a lot of mucking around over nothing. Yeah. But um, yes, it was a sense that we were we're going to, to move, and it was quite, quite exciting. exciting. We came up here and we were held a public uh, contest to ask what name should we call the school. And eventually we chose Wanganui Park High School. This building was built on part of the land which belonged to Wanganui Park Estate, which had been part of the big Wanganui homestead down there. 